Hey Dino Fanatics, how are we doing? It's Mr. A2G. We are back again playing some more Durango. How are we going, guys? Alright, so follow up to the last video. We're just continuing right on just from where we left off. And we're going to get hopefully into either another miss mission or we're just going to check out some of the bits and pieces uh, to everything today. So if you watched the last video there, um, we're going to await for further instructions from our little guide fella. And oh, there he is again. So you'll advance naturally in various uh, curricula as time goes on. So don't think too hard and just pick something to start with. Once you've completed one course, you'll be able to find, uh, sorry, you'll be able to further your studies with more advanced challenges. Okay. So increasing skill category level will help you build the uh, Radio University's trust. So we've got basic hunting tactics, I guess. Um, okay. Just sort of doing some little tapping around here and there again guys i'm still learning the game myself um i'm just seeing exactly what we've got here it just gives us a bit of a ranking system by the looks of things um okay Oop. hey there did dr Lema, uh sorry lamar bring you up to speed with the tamed islands it might not seem it but there are an awful lot of people in this world some will be friends others enemies but they'll all start as strangers Okay, once you have a domain and a place to rest, uh, it's like you founded your own little island nation, population one, okay? You're ready to, uh, sorry, for the next step, uh, but be warned, it won't be easy. Time to learn the differences between unstable islands and tamed islands, okay? Okay, um, Kay wants to talk about the unstable islands, let's just do that. Durango has a fair shape, uh, sorry, fair share of warps, so, some are pretty tiny, but others can swallow an entire island, okay? Uh, what is, uh, so what good is it to build your home on an island that'll disappear in a few hours? That's why people usually declare domains on tamed islands. Okay, so understandable. The other downside, tamed islands are short on both warps and uh, resources. Unstable islands, on the other hand, have plenty of both, right? Warps might uh, wreak havoc on the local ecosystem, uh, but they are also vital for uh, distributing new resources throughout Durango, okay? But you won't be a real pioneer until you've gone to at least once, uh, gone at least once, sorry. Got to explore the unknown, right? Earn your stripes, fair enough. So tapping the anchor icon will let you instantly travel to the harbor, okay. Okay, so defensive rights. I just wanted to quickly look at the um, the weapon system here, just for a quick second. Find one that suits you. How to increase your melee skill level. Increase your defensive skills. Do you tap on these? No, you just keep sliding along. Basic combat systems, okay. Uh, capturing animals and big game hunting. And okay, fair enough. Right, so. We're going to walk to the harbour, that's kind of cool, kind of freaky as well, okay. Okay, so we tap that, set sail, and we want to go to an unstable area, which is that. Let's search the uncharted island, okay. Alright guys, I don't know what's going to happen here, I don't know if I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered, or will I be able to survive, who knows. Uh, what's this? Um, sail. Oh, okay, so you use your coin system here to sail to uncharted areas. Okay, let's do it anyway. Why not? And, ooh, okay. I enjoyed the little cinematics. I do like it. For a mobile game, amazing. Okay, so both clans individuals can make dormant craters become active. Okay. So I'm, guess we, I'm guessing later on we're going to learn about these things, about the warp system, these craters, how they sort of actually work and how we can you know, use them to our advantage. Um, I'm sure you guys will probably know if you've been playing um, this game a little longer than myself. So if you want to leave some tips and things like this about the game, uh, definitely drop them in the comment section down below, guys. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, if you've only just dis uh, discovered this game via my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And yeah, guys, like the video. Alright, so Fledging Pioneer complete. Okay. Savannah Exploration. Explore the Savannah. Okay. I'm hoping it's a... 
you left the Tiang Island and arrive, arrived on an unstable island, okay. Open the map to return to your domain or waypoint. So if I open up the map, how do you like sailing the island? It has a different feel to it, doesn't it? That's because it's an unstable island, the kind that disappears. Pioneers usually um, here usually gather at a camp. In any case, um, getting to an unstable island is a huge step. Makes the str struggle worth it, sorry, doesn't it? You've earned this. Exploring, gathering the resources for your domain. This island is your oyster. Crack it open and get those pearls. Now that you're on an unstable island, all kinds of organizations will probably try and put you to work. The company won't have you work for free though. They'll pay you for everything you do. Keep in touch. Okay. Landmarks found, one out of 20. Exploration reward, 239 coins. Camp, and then home waypoint. Okay, so we can use this. So we've got other little people running around as well. So anytime that you want to go back, assuming you just click that, you go back to your home waypoint there, which is good. Okay, we're going to tap here, support organization, support list. Um, okay, request food supply. And okay. All right, well, let's have a look anyway, see what we're working with. Okay, so do we just tap on here? Accept a mission. Uh, skewer Doa, okay. Okay, so hello, I'm Zhu Li. If I've pronounced that right. Director of the Public Relations and Chlorophyll Forum. Apologize for introducing myself over the walkie-talkie. Your formal greeting would be more appropriate, I know. Um, but we all make do with what we have. Okay, so the forum aids to protect the Rango's ecosystem while promoting uh, sustainable development. Have you heard of the forum's message playing on the radio? I can only uh, hope you're inspired by it as I am. I want to ask you if you could be interested in volunteering for the forum. Before you answer, know the forum. We'll compensate you for your services. Due to security issues, details can be only provided at the Camps Communication Centre. Okay, awesome. So we've got a trust here there, which is cool. Um, Alright, so let's go accept this mission. Many pioneers haven't adjusted since leaving their unstable island, mostly because they haven't met me yet. It would be nice if they didn't starve inside the camp though. Could you make some skills by heating materials at the camp bonfire, then leave them at the camp? Start mission. Alright, well let's go ahead and do that first. So as you can see, you've got other players here. I'm not too sure if we can interact with these guys. Looks like you can. You can view people's profile, message, invite to a party system. So we're not going to do that anyway. Just thought I'd just bring that up and show you guys. Um, all right, so let's craft. So we want to do some skewers. So I think we go to cooking, skewer, craft. And let's just fill automatically and craft. Okay. And can we leave it there? I'm just going to just fill auto and just do one more. Okay, we've just got to deliver at the drop-off point. Drop-off point should be here. Yes, yes, just over here. And let's just go to the company. Insert. Do we do another one again? Insert. Okay. Alright. Unstable islands are full of opportunity. The more you get done, the faster you ba your bag will fill up. When you run out of space or energy, return to the domain on your tame island um, uh, to get your bearings, manage your resources, plan for your next move. You can return to a waypoint of domain whenever you wish. Okay, well that's cool. So it's not like you're completely stuck here or anything like that. You can just move on. Whenever you need to, if you need to go back, you just go back. Okay, so there's a timer for the next mission, that's fine. Uh, Zebra Septos on the mind. Ooh. I don't know what that was, but that's, that's okay. Shall we accept this guy's mission? Let's do it. Analyzing animal tissue is one way to understand a region's anomalies. Please gather some meat from the zebra septos. Uh, zebra... Ceratops. Zebra ceratops. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, 
I, can, I can't tell you how to procure it, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so let's go over to this area over here. So we're going to follow his little waypoint area. So let's just have a look on the map. It's over there. Um, I'm hoping we're not going to run into anything too dangerous or anything like that. It is... Ooh. Okay. It's a little bit scary there. Let's just hope we just, you know. Okay, so we're swimming. Ooh. The mood of the... Um, of the uh, music has changed, so we are in uncharted territories, guys. So probably not the best of things, but let's hope we will come out of this alive. And let's just scoot on over. We're over halfway there anyway, so not too far away. And so far nothing's coming up on the minimap here. So look to be okay. Hopefully there's not any, you know, dino crocs or anything like that. That won't be good at all. But I'm just going straight for, you know, beeline over to this area. Oh, can I go any deeper? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So let's, um, let's just get out of that then. Let's go around. What's this? Uh, picking up a faint noise from the crater, region John Wick. Okay. Okay, cool. So you can discover little areas here. So is this a zebra ceratops? Yeah, okay. So we want to actually attack this guy. So I hope we'll let him get anywhere close to him. Oh, Jesus. Come on, buddy. Go, man, go. Oh my God, what's going on, what's going on? I'm getting, I'm getting smashed over here. No, 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 go back to him. Hit him. Okay. All right, so we're, we're going to be locked in this battle here. I don't, I don't know if I've got the right type of weaponry or anything like that. I'm just kicking him for now. <laughs> Hopefully we, um, you know, another action's in progress. He's actually quite strong as well. I mean, he's a level 15, over 500 health. And I'm just, okay, attack stance one, that's fine. No, he's, don't walk away from me. Come back. Oi. Oi. So he just decides that, no, okay, I'm, I'm not going to bother you. Okay, it's, it's losing strength, insufficient stamina. Okay, so, all right, so you've got to be careful about your stamina as well at the same time, health naturally. Um, so it looks like we stunned him. It just looks like he's just standing there. So if we just keep hitting the standard auto prep here, we might be able to, you know, try and take him down a little bit. But he's actually gaining health again, which is not a good thing. Another action's in progress. Let's just... Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but we... We are sort of trying to bring him down a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Why can't we take you down? Guys, let me know in the comments about effective game, um, battle combat system with, um, you know, defeating uh, any sort of enemy or, you know, doing what I'm doing at the moment. Be interested to know. Um, I think I'm doing the right thing. I'm not too sure. So right now, I'm just smashing the buttons here. So it's probably, you know, a very noob move on my end here. <laughs> it's losing strength. So we are taking it down. We should get him. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so let's just take the meat. And... Okay, so let's grab all of that. I'm not too sure if that's everything that we need from this guy. But I reckon I need some better weapons. I think that's probably the go here. Now, I'm just trying to view skill. Okay, so bone 2 butchering level 15 is required. And with this one here, I need level 10. So I can view the skill. I can rank it up. 
Okay, that's cool. And then maybe if I do this one as well, um, view the skill. Can I... I've already learnt that, so I'm not at that level yet by the looks of things. So I can't necessarily rank up, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, no, I can. Oh, nice. So now that I've actually ranked up that skill, I can get the leather, which is awesome. Fantastic. So I need to get level 15 for the butchering skill. So I need to kill some more um, in order for me to do just that is can I make any better weapons? That's my that's my only other concern. I'll make a stone blade. Let's fill up automatically. And I think the more you craft, the more you can actually um, increase your, uh, your progressional stance with this as well. So you might be able to make more improved weapons. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a wooden club. Let's just fill that automatically. Um, let's see if we can use that now. Um, you know, in our, in our killings or, or anything like that. Can I use it? Equip. Alright, so I've equipped that. We'll see how we go with that. Will this be better? I don't know. But he's telling me to go over this way, so let's hopefully we can get ourselves across. And I just saw that orange thing there. I don't know if that was moving in on me. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Let's go into the overview. No, it doesn't. Exploration mode doesn't give you too much overview over the here. Oh my god, look how much there is. Wow. Okay. Alright. So I've done all that. We can at least go back home. Um, okay. Is that it? I think so. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we can go back. Um, Alright. I just want to get one of these guys uh, on his own here. Just want to see if the, the bat does a better attack. Because... Oh my god, he dodges me and everything. Okay. So, that's right. You can dodge these guys at a certain point as well, but your stamina needs to basically um, recover so you can actually dodge and move out. So as you can just see there, the defense just sort of worked out for me. No, 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 go back and hit him. I'm glad that they, um, you know, you don't get completely um, uh, shell-shocked with all of them around you. So. You know, if you attack one, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get attacked with everyone else as well. So, that's always a good thing. Ooh. So, we are losing a little bit of health here. I just wanted to see how well we can fare up against the um, this little dino here. So, we're actually doing a little bit better than what it was beforehand. I mean, I was paying a little bit on the uh, sporadic side with everything here as well. So... At least here, I think I'm doing a little bit better than what I was before, which is a good thing. What are you doing? Don't run away. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so let's go attack him again. So he, he apparently he collapsed, so we, can we just keep hitting him, I guess? Alright. So it looks like we've actually stunned him to a point where he's, um, well, you know, about to de be defeated, I guess. There we go. All right. Nice. So let's get the spoils here. And again, you can actually, yeah, you can double tap these things and just make sure that he will uh, collect or she, if depending on your character, of course. Uh, we'll more or less just take every, um, you know, all the bits and pieces. So if you double tap or triple tap, it'll automatically do it for you. So he's just doing his thing there. Oh, my bag is full. Okay. So that's why we can't get anything else there. I do want to get the leather. Can I go into my bag? What can I remove? Uh, well, let's just eat that anyway. So he's probably was hungry. We're sort of running my guy down a little bit here. 
Actually, that's another thing too. Whatever item that you've, or thing that you've done in your menu system, you can quickly refer back to it and you can, you know, continue on and just, um, uh, and go back. Ooh, everyone's running away. What's happening? What's happening? Everyone's running. I don't know what's happening. Is something coming? All right, I'm not going to find out. I know my bag's full, so. All right, let's just get out of here and we'll head back home, guys. So you can see on the status bar in the top left-hand corner as well, um, there's that little orange thing there, so I don't know what that was. Don't want to find out personally. I'm just going to race back home, most definitely. And, ooh, okay. You can't get past these rocks. Interesting. So, basically, we're just going to make a beeline back home. Oh, back to the central point there, so that's where we came from before. And that will probably be it for this video. It's just a minor introduction into the uh, unstable areas. What the? Okay. I, I don't want to engage. I really don't. Okay, well, I discovered a mud pit, which is awesome. I'm just going to keep going. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments about um, engagement of hostile animals, or sorry, uh, the dinosaurs, um, what are, what not, um, that'd be really helpful. Anyway, we're back, and it looks like we're back onto the safe area, hopefully, uh, drop off point, just over here. Okay, fill automatically, insert, boom, done. So we've developed some trust, which is amazing. Thank you very much. All right. So you know what? We're probably going to go ahead and leave it here for today. I just wanted to give you a bit of a, um, you know, a bit of a, a, a walkthrough. I'm still discovering this on myself as well, so I haven't read too further into it myself there. But otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Looks like my guy's back up to full um, stamina, health, all that sort of stuff. So we are good to go. Anyway, guys, if you like what you're seeing today, make sure you just hit that uh, like button there. Let me know how the video um, was to you. Comment down below. If you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, all that sort of good stuff, notification bell, so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.